In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to basically read the defense in Madden NFL 17. What I'm hoping you get out of this video is a simple tactic that you can use that will, I think, help lower your interceptions and also will increase uh, your ability to have good decision making in Madden NFL 17. Guys, my name is Cody. I want to welcome you to today's video. And today, like I said, we're taking a look at stopping uh, this this concept of, of reading defenses in, in such a way that there, we make it too difficult. And uh, what I'm excited to do about today is basically give you some concepts that I think will transcend not just Madden 17, but long term. This should be something that helps you. Uh, going forward. So what I want to talk about basically is reading defenses and what we're going to do is we're going to just use the Minnesota Vikings defense which is the best defense in the game and we're going to use just a random uh, play here something popular. So we're going to go to doubles. We're in the Atlanta Falcons playbook if you want to kind of follow along here and let's see what we can get here. Let's go with this uh, fade halfback wheel play. Now there's a couple of keys for reading defenses. The first thing to do is look at the corners at the snap of the ball. So what I'm gonna do here is I wanna run the play and then just kinda of run it and then get down and show you some things in the instant replay feature of the game. All right, so what we just ran there was a zone blitz. And what I wanna show you is the corners. And so if you look here at this corner, uh, 23, he's looking at the quarterback. He's not looking at the wide receiver, okay? That's, that's really important. So what we're going to take a look at now, as you, as you can see here also, this cornerback, his eyes on the quarterback. Everybody's eyes in the defense is on the quarterback. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch it. So we're going to call him man-to-man. -man. Okay. Now, and we're going to do the same thing. But we're going to run a play, get down, and, uh, and see what we can see here. So as we take a look here, we're going to go into instant replay and what I'm going to show you here is something kind of unique. As you can see now, the wide receiver or the say the corner is looking at the wide receiver directly at the wide receiver, okay? And you'll see um, that they're looking at the wide receiver that they're guarding, okay? So that's kind of a key uh, that can easily point you in the right direction. As you can see 52 here, he's looking at the running back. That's his man. 54, if I can kind of swerve around here, he's looking at the tight end. That's his man. The safety is looking at the quarterback. Why? Because he's in a zone coverage. We're in cover two man. This safety's in a zone. And of course, this corner is in cover two man technique. And as you can see, he's looking at the wide receiver. Now, that is a big deal. As far as reading the defense goes, this gives you a lot of insight. So if we take a, we just audible. Uh, here real quick to man to man so all we have to do here cover two man as soon as we audible to cover two man the cornerbacks heads turn if we're in a basic zone as you can see the cornerbacks are now going to face the quarterback now there are some other things that uh, we'll show you here but one of the keys here is you always want to come to play close screen and just kind of zoom out and kind of see what you can see now, when they base a line and press like this, everybody shows cover two man, okay? So, so basically, everybody's going to show cover two man whenever they base a line and press. If they don't base a line, if they man a line, which is what most teams do, they're going to, when they run cover two man, they don't base a line, but they man a line their defense, and that's going to change things, okay? So here you see that's an easy read that it's, co that it's cover two man. Now, here's kind of the key to all this. One last thing. So the first thing is to identify basically man or zone. And there's a couple of ways to do that. The first one, like I showed you, where are their eyes? Um, you know, as you can see here, the safeties are looking at the quarterback. means they're in zone. The corners are looking at the receivers. It means they're in man. Now, if we switch it up, say we go to Tampa 2. Now what you're going to see is it changes. As you can see here, the safeties are looking at the quarterback, but the corners are also are looking at the man, so they're imitating cover two. Okay, why? Partially because we audible the play. Once you audible a play, they change uh, what they do. Anyway, so let's reset this whole deal and show you what it's going to look like if it's if it's his own blitz. Now, another key here. So the first key is to identify: Are they looking at the corner? Are they looking at the wide receivers or not? If they're looking 
at the wide receivers normally it's going to be man to man almost nine times out of ten now if they're not uh, once you get that down you need to identify where could they possibly send pressure so in the nickel normal defense uh, which is what we're in here normally the pressure is going to come from the left edge as you can see here if we tried to set up right edge heat um, with blitzing that right backer you're going to see that they, they can't really get that pressure in um, it, you know you, you can kind of get it but for the most part it's really not going to work okay so more than likely the pressure is going to come from the slot nickel back so the key here then is okay identify there's the pressure and what you want to do is you run a run a curl flat concept to that side why do you want to do that because if they're playing man-to-man -man coverage you're going to be able to easily hit this quick out for a quick gain just quick five yards just something simple okay however if they're blitzing you like most teams are this is uh, this is going to be a nice little play here to uh, make a quick adjustment so we go back and run this again and we're gonna see that safety plays on that whoops sorry about that threw it a little too quick but um, what you'll see is, is you can hit that out route okay that's the key but anyways you can do that to curl flat sides now if they do something like this and you'll see this some kind of way so if they have the potential to send it both directions okay so if they have the potential to do that what that now means though is that the middle of the field is now vulnerable okay the reason it's vulnerable is because they have more players outside so more than likely they're going to be able to stop the majority of things you're going to do on the outside but what you can now do is run a levels concept so like a little drag and a little slant route underneath it and what you're going to see is you can easily hit that that slant route underneath that so that's kind of the second key and that's where i kind of want to kind of close out for today uh, we'll come back to this concept a little more later on in the season uh, later on this week but what I really want to kind of zero in and focus on is number one identifying you know kind of is there a potential tell that it's going to be man or zone the second key is to identify okay where can they blitz me from and get the best pressure because more than likely I can handle a corner blitz off the backside what I can't handle is pressure through the a gap or right in my face off the c gap okay so so what I'm trying to kind of get you to see here is basically what I want you to take away from this I want you to identify where can pressure come from and is there a tell if it's man or zone those two little things are going to help you so much because if there's not if there's potential for pressure on the left side something as simple as this something as simple as blocking the running back and slide protecting to the left side of the line is going to save you and then you can potentially even roll out with a mobile quarterback get outside make some additional plays okay so once you identify where the pressure is coming from it changes everything for your offense if you have any questions about some of the topics discussed today uh, go ahead and leave me a comment uh, let me know what kind of questions you have I'd be happy to answer them thanks guys for watching and if you are new to the channel I want to welcome you and I want to ask you to please subscribe because that's why you're gonna get some more tips for men 17 thank you